I can get up in the middle of the night at three o'clock in the morning if I have an idea and run in here and start working on it. I've never known a different life than that, you know, because I started, you know, we started building this when I was 13 years old, me and my dad. I get great satisfaction, not only making my music, but working with other artists because I'm able to express myself in all these different kinds of music without necessarily confusing anybody about my identity as an artist. I never really saw myself as being attracted to any one instrument more than another. I love music for the composition of all the instruments and the way they work together. In some ways that's been my detriment, you know, because I'm one of those people that are like, oh, he's a, he's a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So I work with a lot of people all over the country, actually, different singers and songwriters and helping bring to life their songs. You know, a lot of times these people, they don't know exactly what they're looking for. They have a great song with chords and melody and lyrics, but they don't really know where to take it beyond that. They'll send me a demo, and usually it's just a cell phone recording of them strumming a guitar and singing a song. It's very rough sounding and stuff, but it gives me an idea of the chords and the melody, and we talk about their influences and bands they like. And from there, I'll build an, a full instrumental and I'll send it to them and then we'll go back and forth and tweak it. And then they track vocals at a studio in their town or at a good home studio if they have one. And then I'll mix it and that's how we do a full production. I spend a lot of time studying music, not so much in the music theory, but more in my intuition. Why does it feel that way? Can I recreate that feeling? At a certain point in music history, we transitioned from the quality of the music being a priority to the emotional intent, and I just don't believe that those are mutually exclusive. I'm thinking about like grunge era, like there's good music from that era, but it's like, you know, if you listen to like Lawrence Welk, I don't know what those songs are about, they're not really about anything important, but it's just beautiful, joyous, great, well-crafted music. I would hope that my legacy would be to move music to a place where the emotional intent and the quality of the music are equally important. So when a church studio opens, I'm gonna be on the team as an audio engineer. On a project by project basis, you know, it has to be discussed early on, you know, what my role's gonna be. Am I gonna be just the engineer? Am I just gonna be press and record? Or am I gonna be a producer? You know, do you want my opinion about the song? You know, some people don't. In a lot of ways in modern productions, the lines are blurred a little bit between what an engineer does and the producer. I really like the phrase music maker because I think it more clearly defines what we're all really trying to do. You know, if you're strumming a guitar, if you're hitting a drum, if you're turning a knob on a compressor, what we're really doing is we're making music. My name's Cade Roberts, and I'm a music maker, and you can find out more about what I do at my website, caderobertsmusic.com, or you can just look me up on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, just Cade Roberts.